Hello, fellow foodies. I am so excited that we're kicking off Eight in Eight, where I'm going to take you on a culinary tour to some of the gems here in District 8. And I'm excited to start off with tacos, tacos, and sips. So let's come on in and check it out. This place is absolutely awesome. I am lucky to be here with Javier and Anna, the creative genius and owners of Tacos, Tacos, and Sip. Thank you so much for having us. Oh no, thank you for stopping by. It's such an amazing time to have you here. I am so excited. Tell us a little bit about what inspired you to create or to form Tacos, Tacos. So basically we had to rebrand because we have two Brennan Honey House and one bread and honey house was consuming the other one more. And I think one of my friends had already told me that, that was gonna happen. And the community was really in need of a good taco place around here. So we launched it with the efforts of having food that was affordable and quality that you can enjoy and that your wallet can be happy with, especially with inflation going on lately. This is the first time I've ever had an interview where there's so much appetizing food in front of me. Tell me a little bit about what we have here. So here we have a little bit of everything. Well, okay. not too much of everything, but we have a quesadilla taco, okay. which is our crispy taco that we dipped in the red chili oil this on one? the plancha. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then we have our carne asada, which we marinate overnight. Okay. Yep. And then after that is our al pastor, which is our pork al mm -hmm. And then we have our carnitas, another... Uh, pork dish, another pork meat that we uh, braise and marinate overnight. We have our consomme, some refried Consumé. beans. Mm -hmm. we have our, <laughs> yeah, we have our chips and wok, our asada fries so that you can share. And then we have a bunch of different salsas and pickled onions. And let's not forget that we're going to have to try the horchata and the Looks jamaica, delicious. which is a, a hibiscus. So it's sweetened. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you can taste all this good food. Well, I'm looking forward to my first bite. Which one should I try first? I think you should definitely start with, let's go lighter in flavors. Okay. I think you should start with the carnitas, which is going to be that one over there. Okay, I'm going to literally drop my mic. There you go. <laughs> Taste the crispy cold, the crispiness of the of the meat, but also the moisture of the meat. It should be, you know, have some some quality in there, some crispiness, but not be dehydrated. And that's one of our most unique meats that we that, that, that we sell here. We 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 cut, we marinate, and we braise overnight. And funny part is that the way we braise that is we take all of our applewood bacon from our other restaurant, the Bray Honey House. And that's what we use to sear the carnitas and braise overnight. So it's got some yeah, of that flavor. flavor. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely delicious. I'm still chewing, but this is phenomenal. Awesome. Carnitas were phenomenal. Awesome. Absolutely tasty. I felt that crunch. I felt the moisture of it. Um, and I, now I know your secret ingredient is your bacon. Definitely. It's very tasty. So what's up next? What do you recommend? Well, the next is our most sold out uh, taco, which is going to be the quesabiria. Okay. And that's made with beef. We we cut, butcher our own beef, and then we, we marinate. And we, we marinate in a Yucatan style, but we braise in a traditional Sonoran style. So it's braised overnight for 16 hours after it marinates for eight hours. And you're going to find that that has the most flavors because we make our own adobo as well. Oh, wow, lots of love into that. It's a love. It's got some so hot What is it about? Stuff. You said 16 hours and then 12 hours? It's eight hours of marinade and then 16 hours oh. of uh, braising. And then we dip the corn tortilla in a chili based oil, mm -hmm. throw it in the plancha. Then we hit it with some asadero, some Oaxaca cheese, and, and Monterey Jack. In case y'all want to steal my secrets, there you go. <laughs> and then we put our braised beef on it, cilantro and onions. And then from there, it's just history from there. Okay, I'm excited. It looks like a lot of tasty season and i love the fact there's so much love that went into it so before every burrito taco it's at least 24 hours of love that's been poured into it so. and you can definitely try it just as it is okay or you can also dip it into your consomme like a lot of traditional or trending uh foodies do okay and then take a quick bite i think i'm gonna go for the dip
very, 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 very flavorful. Oh, let me get my mic. Very, very delicious. Very flavorful. The meat is perfectly tender. The cheese are nice and cheesy. I know it's not a real word. I'm not <laughs> very thing delicious. I think she approves. <laughs> Two thumbs up. So, Javi, everything was absolutely delicious. Top here. I truly enjoyed all the tacos, the chips, the salsa, the pickled onions, and the mica. mica was delicious. This is my second cup in case you're wondering. And if you want to experience these delectable dishes for yourself, be sure to visit Paco's Tacos at their location on 47th Street in Van Buren. Or you can also come out to our District 8 602 event on June 2nd at the southwest corner of 24th Street and Broadway. It's going to be a blast. Thank you again for allowing us to stop by. Thank you as well. Appreciate y'all. Take, take care.